What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma from Complex. We are back in the Complex office. It's been a few months, and today I'm giving you a sneak peek at all the sneakers from my collection that are housed at Complex headquarters. Some I don't even remember I had. We're gonna do two stations, and I'm gonna show you some gems. Let's go. All right, so this is a stack. It's pretty unorganized. It looked a lot different before we started shooting. So I tried to do some organized chaos here. These aren't all the sneakers, but I want to talk about a few. First one, PSG Jordan 5s. We had Neymar in sneaker shopping, and I think he was one of the people who helped unveil the PSG Jordan collection. Concepts. Purple Lobsters. Concepts. Nike SB collabs, always hit. The Lobster Series, one of the most valuable Nike SB dunks. So I was happy to get them, shout out to Concepts. Mars Yard Overshoe, do not know how to wear these. But I'm happy I have these in the collection. A lot of people, you know, took this shroud off, customized it. I have not yet figured out how to wear this shoe, but it's cool to have in the collection. One of my favorites, Comme de Garçon. Nike Air 180. I have two pairs of these. These are dead stock. These I've worn multiple times on multiple episodes. People at work have seen me wear these nonstop. Three colorways, I got all three, but the black and pink were the standout for me. Love these. In the long line of fly knits, I think these hold up as one of the best. Made popular, not made popular, but the prices exploded after Kanye Warm, which tends to happen, but yeah. One of my favorite fly knits, if not my favorite fly knit. These, you know, I never knew that we would be out of the office for four or five months. Obviously no one could predict the pandemic. So when I was watching The Last Dance and I was bringing out shoes in my apartment, I was searching for the 94 Chicago ones that I knew I had and they weren't there and I got a little nervous because I was like, where are these? Could they be in another location? And then thankfully, I remembered they were at this office. These are one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. For younger people who may not have seen Jordan play, it's not surprising that the prices exploded after the Last Dance docu-series. And these came with no box, pair of 1994s. So I had to get a box. Dead stock, another pair, 1994 Chicago Jordan 1s. Definitely one of the gems in my collection. While we're on Jordan 1s, Royal 1s, DS. You might like the Breads, you might like the Chicago's. A lot of people love the Royals. v and Air Force 1s originally dropped at Complex Con, a few pairs, and then they did some pop-ups in New York City. One of the most valuable Air Force Ones in recent times. A top five for me. My second pair, Mars Yard, Tom Sachs, 2.0. The first pair I wear all the time. These shoes are meant to be beat. They're meant to wear and tear. Anyone who knows me knows that I love sneakers that are meant to get beat. These Kith Air Force Ones friends and family edition. Never dropped, there was a pair that released in Tokyo for the new Tokyo flagship of Kith. These are the friends and family edition. These are one of 100 pairs. And talk to Ronnie, and he's always like, you gonna wear them? First of all, I don't wear white sneakers, but these are too pristine to wear. Look at the Kith detailing. Hang tags. Very lucky to get a pair of these. You can see the swoosh has the kith embossed on it. Green swoosh. Sometimes in the office, things show up, you don't know where they came from. And you don't know why they came. Like these Arizona iced tea Jordan ones. I really have no idea what these are about. I don't know if I would ever wear them. I appreciate any shoe that's sent to me, but I'm just not sure. These, Murakami. I've never worn Crocs. Complex Con exclusive Murakami Crocs. 
I think these were reselling for a lot of money. If I was ever to wear Crocs, they'd probably be Murakami. So these are just a few pairs that I went through. Again, kind of organized chaos. There's a lot more in here, but these are the ones that I wanted to talk about. We have one more stop in the office. It's upstairs, and there's a handful of other pairs that I want to show you guys. Let's go. What's up? We are now in the second location. There's a lot of people who work at Complex who don't even know this closet exists. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at some of my favorite pairs from this closet. Let's get to it. First pair, 2016. Everyone knows how classic the breads are. This is a twist on the bread, satin Jordan 1s. There was a pop-up in New York City for these. Very limited, I think 501 pairs. A twist on the classic bread, this is satin. Very well executed. If you listen to the Complex Sneakers podcast, Frank Cook went into detail about how these came about. They did a royal colorway that dropped at Walters in Atlanta. Super rare, but such a great, well executed twist on a classic. Sometimes just have shoes. My favorite Jordan of all time. Black cement, Jordan 4. Beat, heavily worn. Gotta wear your shoes though. Yukon Air Force Ones. These were sent to me, Nike ID. I'm a Yukon graduate. A bunch of sneakerheads came through there. Ray Allen, Karan Butler, Kemba Walker. So as a Yukon graduate, kind of cool to have. Navy leather, gum sole. All right, so let's get to these. 2016, Kith Miami opens its flagship and they reintroduced the Linden Air Force Ones. If you saw Mayer's closet, he considers these maybe the best sneaker of all time, the best Air Force One of all time, I should say. Kith reintroduced them to open Kith Miami, but if you were at a dinner before, you got this special box that Futura designed. Great packaging. Crazy special package from Nike. Paul George has had a couple PlayStation-esque collabs with Nike. Not official collabs, but it homages PlayStation, his love for video games. This came with a PlayStation Classic. So, look at this packaging, though. Crazy suitcase. John Mayer. These kind of flew under the radar, but John Mayer, who is a OG when it comes to street fashion, street wear, and sneakers, he designed these. Basically what he did is he logged on to Nike ID. He bought up all the pairs. I think he was saying that he wanted to wait until they went on discount, probably under 300 or so, and he cooked up his own design on the Air Max 90. Gray speckled sole, lime green air bubble. Air Mayer on the peel. He signed each box John Mayer over the swoosh. Interested to see what a John Mayer original silhouette would look like. Maybe it's time for that. All right, so that's it from the second location. Not a lot. I didn't want to talk about all of them. I wanted to show you guys some ones that really stand out to me in this location. Again, a secret, secret stash that not many people know who work at Complex where it is. So hope you like those. So that was it. You guys got to see all the sneakers that I have in my collection that are here at Complex Headquarters. Stay safe, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to everyone soon.